The first time I was in Austria, I was only there for a few days. While there were a few memories I remember very vividly, that trip was for the most part pretty uneventful. The second time I came back to Austria, however, truly left an impression that forever changed the direction of my life. I will never forget those two weeks. It was the end of summer in 2014. I really wanted to get the lay of the land, so there was not a dull moment to be had. I went cycling to the south of Styria. I saw important sites in the city. I went hiking at Bernschutzkamm, a water-bearing rock gorge with alpine limestone cliffs that measure 300 meters of elevation from the edge of the precipice. A friend and I decided to go on a Sunday and hike to the very top. At the entrance, there was a little kiosk where one was supposed to pay his entry fee, a meager two euros which directly supported the cost of maintaining its 164 wooden ladder bridges and their 2,500 rungs. Through this system of wooden bridges and ladders, one can climb about 300 meters of elevation between the 750 meters of elevation point and the 1,100 meters point. Yet, since this was a Sunday in Austria, a social democracy with an overwhelmingly Roman Catholic populace, the kiosk was of course closed, as are most things in Austria on Sundays. As we stood in the small lawn to enter, I asked Julia if the hike would be free of charge now, since there was no custodian or park ranger to collect our money and to issue us tickets. Julia said no, that there is a casa, or essentially a wooden till or piggy bank at the front, and you would just pay your way truthfully and honorably. This both fascinated and shocked me as I watched person after person go through the entrance and still pay to support this lovely, beautiful natural attraction. They did so even though there was no one to enforce the rules or to make sure everyone's abiding by them. As an American, this was unfathomable to me. I was speechless. After the hike and on the way home, we passed through Feldkirchen by God's. I was submerged in the abyss of my own thoughts and looking out the window as Julia drove. Looking at the fields and farms that we passed along the road, my eyes caught a glimpse of another casa. This was a word I now understood. But why was there a cash register in the middle of a field that was full of flowers with a sign that said, Blumen selbst pflücken? I didn't know what that meant, so I asked Julia, and she calmly explained that this was basically a self-service flower shop where you would just cut what you needed and left the correct change in the register based on the price chart. Again, no overseer, no cameras, no security, nada. It was completely based on the honor system. Mutual trust and honesty. If this had been the US, I thought, not only would everyone go hiking without paying, they'd also bring a pickup truck and steal all the flowers, steal both casas, and probably defecate on the field for good measure too. That day, I fell in love with Austria, and I decided to move here to try it, even if just for a few months. This year, in July, there was a rock slide at Bernschutzkamm, and two of our mutual friends were caught in it. He survived the fall, as she died in his arms. And with that, a place that was so positive for me, a place that was implicitly associated with goodness, overnight became a heartbreaking reminder of the death of a dear friend.